Hey guys, we're here on the beautiful Angeles Crest Highway with a very special treat, three three-wheelers, the Polaris Slingshot, the Vanderhall Speedster, and the Morgan three-wheeler. They all have three wheels, but they all are very different from the other two. I can't wait to see how they drive. Let's go. The first of our lot is the Vanderhall Venice Speedster. In a weird way, this $27,000 Speedster is the most futuristic car of the group. It's a turbo-boosted, six-speed automatic machine, but it is relatively practical, with large amounts of storage in the cockpit, and it's perfect for cruising down the open road for extended periods of time. Not to incriminate myself, but I did have this puppy cruising happily up past 90 miles per hour, and it didn't miss a beat. In fact, it was almost dialed in too much. You get the definite feeling that one wrong flick of the wrist or a misstep on the brakes could get you into a very hairy situation. And this beast corners beautifully. All in, it was my favorite one to drive of the group. If you kind of like a futuristic yet retro style and you want something ideal for long cruises, the Vanderhall is a great option. Now for the second car of our lineup. At just under $20,000, the Polaris Slingshot has the least expensive starting price of the group, but it comes with the most technology. The minute you step inside, you feel like you could take this thing anywhere. This is by far the fastest and most capable of any on rough terrain or for the long haul. It also comes with creature comforts like backup cameras, cup holders, and a push button start that is as easy to activate as the clutch is to use. This is a five speed three wheeler with a car like manual transmission. It's paired with a 173 horsepower GM made four cylinder engine and traction control systems that make the Polaris the most like the modern car to drive. But I have to admit, I just can't get past the circus sideshow looks here. That cartoonish body styling. I really can't get into the idea of owning one. And finally, the supermodel of the group. The special edition Morgan three-wheeler that we drove today cost $80,000. But that is to be expected. Each Morgan three-wheeler is hand-built in England at the same factory that they've built them in since 1914. The beautiful detailing of the dashboard instruments, the careful stitching on the leather seats, and the intricate craftsmanship of the V-twin engine at the front of the car captivate from every angle. Now the Morgan is a manual vehicle, the clutch is super tight and high, there is no power steering, and the brakes feel wooden and vague in the typical way that you'd find any vintage car. It really keeps you busy when you drive it, but it is a true delight. It's all very analog and real in that special way that we rarely get these days in a world dominated with computer and cell phone screens. The Morgan is by far the most raw and engaging drive experience of the bunch. Okay, so each of these cars is very different and I use that term cars loosely, you know what I mean. I have to admit I was extremely skeptical about driving them, but each has its own purpose. For fast highway cruising, choose the Vanderhall. For off-road excitement and a tech-laden experience, hopefully away from anyone who can identify you, choose the Polaris. And for the true love of driving a beautiful machine, choose the Morgan. With any of these, you can have a lot of fun. I guess it just goes to show that old saying is true. Don't knock it until you try it. Whoa, that was awesome.